Hello everyone. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel to figure out the future value of any amount that you are putting in the bank today, knowing what the banks are paying on an annual basis or periodic basis, like what is the interest rate, and knowing how many years or how many time periods you're going out into the future. So take a look at this problem. It says, suppose you save $8,000 in a bank today, at an annual interest rate of 7%. Okay, so what does that mean? This means that you know that in the present you are given $8,000, so let's enter that separately, and you know that the banks are paying an annual interest rate of 7%, so you know that uh, your R is 7%, so enter that as a percentage, uh, so it's the same thing as 0 0.07. The question that has been posed to you is, how much will you have in your account by the end of eight years? Okay, so you know that T, which is the number of years that you're going out into the future, that's eight. And the question that is being asked is, you know, how much it is that you're going to have in the future? Now, I know that I've laid out this problem in a way where I've separately shown you what is the present value, what is T, what is R, and what needs to be done. This is not necessary, but useful for starters because it helps you see which of the inputs are given uh, and which is unknown. And so, so it's usually helpful to frame the problem this way because you sort of understand how to approach the problem. And so now it turns out that in Microsoft Excel, there's a very specific function which can help you determine the future value when these sort of inputs are given. And quite conveniently, it's called FV, which stands for future value. Uh, so it returns the future value of an investment. Uh, and so if you open the parentheses, the first thing that this formula asks you is like, what is the rate? What is the interest rate that we'll be earning on a periodic basis? Which uh, fortunately you have, this is 0 0.07 or 7%. So I'm just gonna give the cell reference to this, this guy right here. You could have alternatively just written 0 0.07 directly as well. Uh, but it's usually considered good practice like if you have these values laid out just just do this and so I'm going to do that then the next thing is NPER NPER stands for number of time periods and so in this case we know that you are interested in determining future value eight years from now that's the number of time periods so this guy is eight and again you could have entered eight here directly manually or just given the cell reference in this way so I'm giving the cell reference. Now when I press comma, the next thing that it asks for is PMT, which stands for payment. In Excel, payment is basically something that, or some cash flow that you're either putting in the bank on a regular basis, like every year, uh, or it's a payment that you're making on a regular basis, like a, like a loan payment every year. So in this case, we would say that $8,000 would have been a payment if you were depositing $8,000 in the bank every year for the next eight years. Then $8,000 would constitute as a payment. But here, you know that you're just depositing one lump sum amount of $8,000. So there is no payment here. There's no, there are no regular deposits. So you can just go past this. So just press comma again and it says not interested. Now the next thing is present value, which we know is $8,000. Uh, in Excel, it is always a good idea to enter all outflows as a negative number. And so in this case, money will be leaving your pocket and going into a bank, which means that you should enter this $8,000 as a negative number. And so one way you can do that is by doing negative one multiplied by, and then I do this. Now again, this is not necessary. You could have just entered negative 8,000 here directly. Same idea, as long as you get that value here. That's what you're interested in. And now, uh, ignore type. This again, I'll talk about maybe in some other videos. It's not important here. Uh, now, if you close the parentheses and then just press enter, it will tell you the future value. So your $8,000 will become $13,745.50 approximately eight years from now if every year you're earning seven percent on an annual compounded basis and so this is how you can use microsoft excel to figure out the future value of one lump sum amount that you will have in the present which you're depositing at a known interest rate for a known number of years simply use the uh, future value formula uh, in excel